everybody welcome to today's episode so today i'm reviewing gabriel union's second book you got anything stronger but i want to talk about the first book first and i feel like you should read the first book first before you read the second one for you to understand her because i feel like if you just jump onto the next the second one then maybe you might not really understand everything so the first one is what is it titled we're going to need more wine which i thoroughly enjoyed she led us into her life very painful stories and also very funny stories so i like that she's very vulnerable and i aspire to be a vulnerable person you know like to own your story and tell your truth yourself and i feel like the media had told her stories for her that she needed to control the narrative but also i don't think that there was her focus i feel like she just wanted to tell her story and fortunately she could do it this way not everyone can so this is fun beautiful you get to understand her you get to know her struggles with fertility um being married to a young man her being a, a, a step parent and how difficult it is or it was rather because in the second book it's a little bit different it was to navigate that but as a fan this really get, got me to know her and understand her it drew me closer to her this is gonna sound like we are friends you know we're not but i genuinely like her now not the idea of her that i had so easy read fun highly recommend you're gonna love this one the second one which is i read on kindle is still a good book so like if you are a fan of gabriel union you're going to enjoy it but i'm going to be honest and say that it was a little bit difficult for me to read the second one it was just redundant and it took me i remember i had not started with my studies yet it took me way longer than it should have probably three weeks or three weeks to four weeks because it was not a page turner like this one and i did not understand why she she was writing a second book and the title is you got anything stronger but i didn't feel like i needed anything stronger i just felt like i maybe need to toss this in the bin until maybe i reached the middle toss this in the bin is a very bad joke that erica jane thing if you know you know anyway until i got in the middle and then i understood that she she evolved so it was it's a very it's, it's the same vibe so she's elaborating on some of the stories that she started telling here like the stepmothering one where she she's evolved into being comfortable in that role and not being so confused she's also getting deeper into her fertility issues and how even getting a surrogate was difficult she still felt like she wasn't enough and also how motherhood is still not so easy but she's enjoying it she's also addressing the cheating rumors doing she's talking about the other stepson for the first time the younger one um she's talking about a lot of things but also she's talking about the things that she stands for so in the second book you get to hear her or you get to see her we got to read her side of this advocate that she is so she's she's a very big advocate for just women of color people of color really so you get to hear what she stands for and how much she's just not a very judgmental person at all so it took me a minute to get into it but I, what, what, but once i got into it i understood why she wrote the second book because the first i feel like if she'd only written the first book maybe you would have seen her as a survivor but a, uh, i don't want to say weak but just a survivor who's understood her pain but in the second book you get to see that she survived and she is a force and how she's she's taken control of her life and how much clarity she had in the second book it just goes to show that people really evolved so you thought you think you know her here and then you read the second book you're like oh 
I didn't know this. This is so good. She's talking about, she also elaborates um, on his sexual assault, um, very unfortunate story, and how it still haunts her. And she explains how it haunts her. She talks about Zaya, their daughter, the transgender daughter, and how they've grown close and how it was important for her to support her she talks about a lot of other things in the second book that makes her appear in a much brighter light where you get to respect her even more so i respected her here but i respect her now I love so what I love about her books the most is that she's vulnerable and you can tell that she's not forcing the stories these things really happened to her and you can tell that she's at a place where she's healing and she's comfortable telling and it helps you it helps me let me talk let me speak for myself because I want to be vulnerable and I want to get to a place where I can share my stories it helps me see that you, one can get there and it's okay to tell stories of things that happened to you that were not even your fault you don't have to hide your stories and sit on them and stuff so yeah she's just a human being that is willing to be really vulnerable i love 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 that about her would i recommend this second book yeah how many stars out of five i would say three it was a little bit difficult like i said to read but it was still fun she talks about carvey james as well which is very cute she's got like chapters dedicated to different things like the first book yeah enjoyed this one highly recommend she's my fave so yeah gabriel union and kanye west are like my faves i i know like the others and i love them but these are like my faves like my personal faves so yeah if you're a fan you're definitely going to enjoy you're not going to be disappointed at all i hope this helps if you were thinking about buying the book now you can go ahead and buy thank you so much you guys for watching bye